I admittedly was a little bit rough on the last Darman React video. Make the call to who? Ghostbusters? <laughs> I want to watch a few more. Let's see if they get a little bit more accurate, honest, and valuable. People, let's go. Oh, 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 Ow. oh, that's some physical b-ball action. Oh, stop whining. No, man, really? Man, for real? Oh my God. Man, man for real? You're going to go get a bud later? Suck on that bud and watch the game? Whoa. I love that he has a prescription pain pills in his hand. He has a water bottle. He has a sling. The only time you would need a figure eight sling would be for a clavicle fracture, which he doesn't have. If it weren't for these pain meds, probably wouldn't be able to hold a pencil. What do they give him? Tylenol? Why do they prescribe it? You can just get it over the counter. Children's Tylenol. Do you have any more of those slings? Yeah. My mom brought some home from the hospital she works at. This is a perfect excuse not to take today's exam. Hey, yo, ho, ho, I taught you up. Cap! Wait, why did he say cap? That's not the right use of cap. Cap means he was joking. No cap. I really don't want to miss this test. It's admirable that you even tried. What else should I do then? I don't know. Um, what about if I watch videos on Venom? <laughs> oh my gosh, shameless self-promotion. That's right. He has an app now. Oh my god. I, I gotta applaud the marketing mindset though. I'm only laughing because it's unexpected. What happened to your arm? I, uh, heard it playing basketball. It's on a different arm now. You told me your mom took you to the hospital last night. I what? No! Uh, you were faking it. Oh, what a detective you are. Kids, don't lie about your injuries. We will find out. Was <laughs> another one of those? I think you've had enough. Fine. Thank you. And I will just take my business elsewhere. You're not driving, are you? I'm pretty sure bars have a responsibility to call 911 in that situation. Go. Go. Uber, my guy. Oh. Why oh is she panicking oh that he woke up? I'm gonna go get the doctor. I'm Dr. James. <laughs> are you though? With your ill-fitting white coat and your lack of stethoscope? What happened? You went out drinking and then you decided to drive. And why does he have an oxygen cannula? <laughs> he does not have a respiratory issue. When was this? This was a long time ago. Let me check. Oh, wow. This happened way back in 2021. What year is it? It's 2031. What? Okay, if he was truly in a coma, he does not just wake up moving all extremities. Atrophy is a real thing. Like, he would have needed intense physical therapy and rehab to just move his arm like this and occupational therapy, might I add. You've been in a coma for over 10 years. <laughs> Man, Lancet. Props for that. That was good. <gasps> Wake up. I'm so sorry. I should have listened to you. I never thought that it would get this bad. Can you call Amelia? I need to hear her voice. Amelia isn't with us anymore. What does that mean? A few years ago, a drunk driver. Was it him? Ran a stoplight in. No. No. Please, I'll never touch another drop of alcohol again. I swear. Just please bring my Amelia back. Mr. Williams. Do you really mean that? Of course. I'm right here, Dad. Wait. Uh, Amelia? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying they lied about the death of his daughter? Buckle up, Mike. You're alive. You look the same. <laughs> you weren't really in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> Last night, Amelia and I came out to the car to find you. We drove you to the hospital. You were so drunk, you didn't even wake up. We brought you into the room. What hospitals for rent like this? We connected you to all these machines? And what kind of IV bag is this? Even though none of this was real, it could have been. This was the exact wake up call that I needed. Send him to jail! Call the cops and say he was drinking and driving. Who is misusing hospital resources like this? I promise, from this day forward, no more drinking and driving. My guy, please take out the fake nasal cannula out of your nose. You know it's not real. Who watched that and took something away from it? You know how many people are not gonna drink and drive after saying that? Zero. <laughs> no, I think more people will drink. <laughs> forget it. Yeah. Hey, I'm so <gasps> sorry. Let's try that again. If you like the content you see, then make sure to follow. Who the heck is that? That's Tommy. He just started going to school here. I think he has Tourette's. 
What's that? Tourette's is a rare neurological condition in which your body produces ticks, and these ticks can be made in all sorts of forms, verbal, nonverbal, breathing, sound making, muscular movement, and it's important to note that these are involuntary ticks. To say to a child who has Tourette's, hey, stop doing that, have better control of it, is unfair and ridiculous. It's when someone can't always control their movements or noises. God, she did a better job than me. I didn't know a lot either till I saw a TikTok. The proper term is ticking. There's also a big article in the Wall Street Journal about how some doctors were finding that young children were seeing other children having ticks on TikTok as a result of having Tourette's, and they started mimicking it and almost caught Tourette's, even though Tourette's isn't contagious, so it was like a phenomenon that that was happening. But I will say that there's been a lot, a lot of messed up stuff happening on TikTok when it comes to Tourette's, including individuals faking that they have ticks in order to garner attention, sympathy, and all of that. Who'd want to follow him? Actually, he's pretty popular. Whoa. You won't believe this, he has over a million. They're basing his value based on how many followers he has, which is not only ridiculous, but also very inaccurate because everyone has value irrespective of how many followers they have. But how? I think a lot of people like following someone that's <laughs> different. Hey guys, I just got back from the doctor. Oh no. And found out I, uh, ah, I have Tourette's and people have no idea how hard it is for me. Ah, <laughs> so please. Follow me. That could be the most manipulative nine-year-old I've ever seen on camera. Because it was actually not a bad job acting. I looked it up and Tourette's can come and go. Once I hit a million followers and become way more popular, I'll say it's gone. Genius, right? Yeah, it's not really curable though, so it's not that genius. This is a really bad idea and popularity isn't always a good thing. Is this like the Yoda wisdom child? I needed him in my life when I was getting my social media popularity. Sorry again about yesterday. I didn't know you also had Tourette's. I'm doing it so I can get a million followers on TikTok. I actually did a video with Emma Chamberlain where we talk about how getting millions of followers on social media means nothing in terms of happiness or mental health positivity. Hey guys, I'm out. Live at my school for my party. Wow, guys, I'm so close to hitting a million followers. What app is this that if you fake having an illness that you automatically get millions of followers? Like, that just sounds like a negative fueled app. Guys, I'm gonna be right back. Hey, Jaden, come take my phone. I'm just jealous because I'm about to have more followers than you. If you don't tell everyone the truth, then I will. Yeah, right. <laughs> have everyone wrapped around my finger. Okay, children do not speak like this. The microphone. I can explain. You sh ah, save it. We heard your entire conversation, Mikey. Did you really fake a disability to get followers? That's pathetic. I feel bad for this kid actor because last time I remember he was faking that he was ill in order to get out of class. Now he's faking a disability to get followers. Why do they always throw him in the worst roles? Wait, don't do that. Does it look like I asked you? This is Alex and Andrea Botez arguing about the next move. Hey, whoa! I don't need any help from some autistic kid, all oh, right? Oh, no, why? Those diagnosed with autism may struggle with learning, communication, but they also can be non-neurotypical in a way that's beneficial to them. They can have great memory, great spatial awareness, great visualization techniques, like especially for games like chess. It's not only challenges that they face, but true superpowers at times. Now, the next team to get one right gets the extra credit. Okay, who should we choose to go? Me, me! You probably don't even know kindergarten math. Again, fact actually inaccurate. Done. Let's see. Yeah, that's correct. Your team gets the extra credit points for the next test. You okay? My ankle, it really hurts. I need to sit this one out. Kyle, why didn't you put me in? You know I've been practicing. You've seen me. What's he talking about? Do you know him or something? Yeah, bro, he's in all of your friggin' classes. <laughs> he was literally just sitting with you, <laughs> solving math problems. I have no idea who he is. You're just an autistic kid who will never be able to do the things us normal kids can. Special needs Sam. What did you do this time? He called Samuel here special needs Sam at recess and then wouldn't let him play with them. AKA bullying, which needs to be addressed by the school because it could lead to bigger problems and escalations. How could you do that to your own brother? That's his brother and no one knew? And they're in the same class? Are they twins? Starting today, I want you to include him in every activity. No way! 
That's so unfair. How is that a punishment? Hang out with your brother. Oh my God, no. If I had a brother, oh my God, how much fun I would have. Especially if we're the same age and he was a rock star at chess. Kyle is playing chess again during recess and doesn't know what move to make. But remembering the words of his mom, he takes Sam's advice and ends up winning the game. Another math competition takes place. Sam ends up getting it right and wins it for his team. Celebrate those with autism because they can help you win basketball games, solve math problems, and win at chess. What about the fact that they're good people and neurodivergent individuals exist and it's totally part of being normal? Did I just hear you say Kaylee Cosmetics looking for models? But it's a makeup campaign, so there would probably be no interest. They wouldn't be interested in someone like you. Do you Photoshop your photos? I hide my vitiligo behind foundation and concealer all the time. Vitiligo is a skin condition where you actively lose melanin through melanocyte loss, which actually gives your skin the pigment, the color that it is. It can sometimes happen in, in single areas of your body. Sometimes it can happen on one side of your body. Sometimes it can happen throughout your entire body. Unless it runs with another autoimmune condition like type 1 diabetes, a thyroid disorder, vitiligo on its own is not necessarily dangerous, with the exception of being out in the sun, you don't have protection from ultraviolet light in that area. We have these two beautiful swans, yes? And they are surrounding an ugly duckling. <clears throat> so you only book me because you think I'm ugly? Why are you upset? This is a great opportunity for someone who looks like you. Oh God, what an asshole. Um, this is me always trying to find the silver lining. If someone called me the ugly duckling, that means I knew I was about to develop into a swan. And I feel like I'm kind of that ugly duckling. When I was younger, I was not a handsome fella. You can have your money. I'll keep my dignity. Facts. You don't need a magazine to reach an audience. You just need Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, Facebook, MySpace, or YouTube. Maybe if you stop using Facetune and wearing all that makeup. That's weird advice from a mom. How about the lesson should be, show your true self, whether or not you get millions of more followers, it doesn't matter because that's not where your value lies. That should be the message. As time goes on, Wendy's following begins to quickly grow. People love how authentic and real she is. Even if her following didn't grow and she was being authentic, I promise she would be happier. Ignore the followers here. What are you doing here? Well, I have a 10 o'clock photo shoot. You are gonna be wearing this little number. <laughs> Fabulous. You two are gonna be wearing those. Wait, 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 hold on. There has to be some kind of mistake. Wendy's the lead on this campaign. So she's top billing. I don't know who says that in, in shoots. She's top, she's making the most money. No, but she's slaying it on Instagram. God, this is so superficially terrible. Oh my God. She's slaying it on Instagram. That's what makes her amazing. One million? How is that even possible? How is it even possible that this video exists? At some point, the millions of followers will slow down. If you are being disingenuous the whole time, that come down is gonna be brutal. But if you are being honest and true to yourself, you will still enjoy doing what it is that you were doing. And that makes all the difference. Oh, oh back tuck. Are, are you all right, sweetheart? I'll be fine. My legs just feel a little tight. Okay. Well. What will we have for dinner? Oh, I've been craving pizza lately. Pizza? Yeah. No, you need protein. You need electrolytes. Pizza's not gonna cut it. Well, pizza has electrolytes. Pizza has protein. Actually, milk and cheese have a surprisingly high amount of protein. I'm not saying it's healthy. Don't get me wrong. How's she doing? She's coming along. Hey, hey, oh, 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 yeah. You okay? okay? This dad's acting skills are way too dramatic. He belongs on a telenovela. Just push through it. That's all she had to do. Just push through it. You got it, baby. My gosh, she's about to faint. Maybe you don't want her balancing on the six inch beam. Oh my gosh, somebody call an ambulance. No, 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 no. The human voice syntax feels like it's been done by a robot. Oh my God, someone call an ambulance. The reason you've been falling and your legs went out today it's because the neurons in your brain are misfiring. She'll still be able to train, right? That's the other thing. This disease, it's degenerative. Your motor skills will continue to worsen. This is the unrealistic part about it. In a medical setting, in order to get all this information, it takes multiple visits, multiple tests, multiple specialists. And even then we will not have certainty to give advice like this. I would take the next few weeks to process everything and Get your affairs in order. Get your affairs in order. She's a kid. Who wrote this? Take a few minutes to process this and I'll come back and you could ask me any questions you need because I know that you definitely did not understand the nuance to what I just said because I just gave you a life-changing diagnosis. A few days later, 
Isabel and Dennis are back in the gym. Eventually, Isabel collapses again. This time, Isabel's left in a coma. I mean, if she collapsed in a way that she fell and had a traumatic blow to her head, that will obviously accelerate all symptoms. Two years pass and Isabel's condition still doesn't improve. The medical team has suggested it might be time to consider alternatives. It took two years for them to discuss quality of life with this family. Every day that you're on a ventilator, we need to perform all sorts of tests on you. These are destroyers of quality of life that must be discussed with the family especially when there's no signs of improvement and only proof of symptoms getting worse. They Talk didn't about it. have People magazine, so I got this novel. Will you give it a break? The argument that this family is about to have is a real argument and actually does happen. And that's to be expected, which is why we have family counselors, we have psychologists, hospice professionals, geriatric specialists if someone is of older age. The Olympic team trials, you should be there. Did you just... She just squeezed my hand! That means her brain function's increasing. She might have a fighting chance after all. This doctor is ridiculous with no information. We don't make decisions and statements willy-nilly because we know the impact that our statements have. I attacked the videos here quite hard because some of them I felt were a little ridiculous. But you know what's also ridiculous? A doctor building Minecraft hospitals has zero value other than entertainment. At least I'm honest about it. Click here to check that out. As always, stay happy and healthy.